Right, this is, uh, I thought I'd just run through how to assemble the internal mechanism. This is the, the neck mechanism uh, rotating for the head. Uh, this is my um, second head I've, I've built, um, but I haven't actually got around to assembling the actual internal parts. I've printed these last summer, printed all this last summer, but uh, I've, I've sort of bolted that together just to see how it would go, um, but I haven't really had a chance to assemble the, in, the internal parts. So I just thought I'd show you or run through how all this assembles. Um, this neck piece here, I actually, this is out of my original in move, and so is this piece out of my original in move, um, which uh, I took out when I put in the, the uh, Bob Houston neck, so I'm just going to reuse these these pieces because I've got them. Um, just This just sits on there with a, uh, a bolt that goes through Make sure you can see that. Yeah, this sits there with a bolt that goes through. So that would be the move uh, body, um, and the the, the front uh, piston would sit uh, in the middle if there was a, uh, a piece in there which would just lift it up. So that's how the 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 nodding of the the head works. But I'm just going to take that out because then I can sit this flat on the on the bench, so we don't need that in there for the minute. Um, this piece screws on. Uh, this section, this is a new piece, it lines up with four holes underneath as you can see but they don't actually, they're not nuts, they are self taps. So do use fairly short screws in there because um, you will, and these are quite short screws, you will you will come through the top if you're not careful So and also just um, hand do it slowly. I've just put in a couple there just to hold it together. I will actually super glue that in ultimately which is uh, how I did the uh, the main neck anyway um, and with a couple of screws to hold it in but be careful when you assemble that part. Next parts that go together are these two so this is the longer of the two um, uh, gearing pieces just don't get them mixed up. Um, that sits in there this has got the four holes at the top, just line them up. It's not the end of the world if they're not lined up, but you might as well. Um, and that will sit on, that will sit in there, so these gears will then mesh. And let's get that to, there we go. So those gears are now meshed inside there. So this is now going to do the rotating section part of the head. Next piece that goes on is the locking ring, which has got four holes in the side. There's four holes on the side here. This, the way this is being printed, this is really tight. So for the time being, I don't have to screw it in. It'll just lock on. And I just loosen that up a bit. There's a bit of movement on there. It's um, just needs to ease. Uh, any sort of sticking. So that is now, if we had the um, the neck mechanism, that would give us the the nodding movement up and down and the left and right part of the head. So that's 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 the uh, that's that part. The next piece that goes together, well, let's just do this for the time being, is the actual servo ring. Now. This screws on these four holes here that you can see there. Um, the actual holes, on, certainly on my print, didn't quite line up, which are these inner holes. So I've just um, eased them out a little bit with a uh, what's that, three and a half, uh, three mil drill bit I used, just to get the bit, get the spacing right. I've got some small little screws, little self taps in there. The noise you can hear in the background is my 3D printer printing away. I'll just put that just temporarily while we're uh, testing the, uh, the gear. It's just slightly catchy now. I just need to put a bit of filing down to get that to work. So that's that section, as you can see, like that. Next piece that goes on is the servo holder and the back part of the skull holder. To get this in, so I'll just take this out again, 
This is a Hitec uh, 805BB, or you can use, this, well, there's various other versions of these at the moment. In fact, people have actually reprinted this with, with the smaller um, servos. And I think there is a, a thingy versus derivative, well, I know there is, that you can use a couple of different servo types, and they've just shrunk that down to uh, get a different servo to fit in there. I thought I'd just show you actually how I assembled the skull in the first place. Um, I've been using Allen key, um, small Allen key bolts and uh, nuts on the back there. Inside the skull, there you go, there's a very good shot of it there. You, you have to uh, work at getting it to, to fit accurately because it's quite a, um, a 3D shape that. Um, but the prints are pretty good actually, they all do go together. Originally I had a, a, a few issues, not on this version, or th on this skull, uh, but when I put this together the first time, not really knowing how it all it would all go together, I had sort of gaps on the front here, so I've sort of sanded this down a bit, ready to be filled. Um, it didn't quite sort of click together, but it does, it does now, and you can sort of see uh, all the bolts going through there. I'm just gonna take out that one, and it's nut and the same on that side just so I can take this this back piece off I haven't actually got any screw holes going through the back there so it's only partially assembled anyway uh, as I say it was just to sort of hold it together and not lose the parts and sort of see see how the whole thing is going to look just uh, thought I'd line up the the servo to 90 degrees just using my sort of portable Arduino built box here which I've set to uh, well it's sitting at 91 but if you can see it on the screen there, set that to 90. So that will that'll set this um, effectively uh, at dead centre, well, roughly dead centre, not to uh, 180, just to see if how dead centre that is. It's slightly off centre the way the spline is working, but um, if we went back to naught, naught. 180 so yeah it is it is roughly yeah uh, that's it it's 90 it doesn't quite line up that spline on, on dead center but it's it's near enough so that will give us a good swing on the head i mean it it, it doesn't matter how how accurate that is it's just when you're sending the final software it's nice to say right looking straight forward is about 90 degrees so you can always uh, slightly tweak it so i just thought i need to uh, set that before we went any further okay right let me just show you where I am so we're, I've screwed all this together now um, I put bolts through bolts through there I just had to ease these are four mil bolts I just had to uh, make the holes in in this bit of plastic slightly bigger um, I didn't want to put self taps in there well I didn't have a self tap that would fit so I bolted it these are self tapped in there you can see the black uh, taps in there they're quite tricky to get into and uh, you've got to get the sort of the screwdriver in a in a, an angle um, to screw those down unless you've got a possibly you, know, you wouldn't even get a screwdriver through the head of those so you have to go in at an angle just to pull it in there is a slight uh, there's a little hole underneath just the camera there just to ease um, where that bolt lines up so it's not going to split that I've put four um, bolts in here now I've had to countersink them slightly just because they were slightly catching on the uh, as you can see they would have been slightly catching there so I've just countersunk the piece of plastic you can obviously put just a couple of bolts uh, through there and, and a nut on the inside which I did on the other one but I wanted to keep that as uh, clear as possible because there's a cable run rather than having some bolts sticking bolt head sticking out inside there um, I've just got to screw a couple of uh, fixings on the back there but that is that is basically assembled and will now rotate if I show you this is just running off a 9 volt battery so it's slightly stressing the uh, Arduino but I need to set up my uh, proper bench power supply on that but it just shows you that will turn um, so I'm just now going to continue screwing it all back together again